Hey makers, this is Thruveen and I welcome you all to Power BI Goals step by step tutorial series. You are watching third episode of this series and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can create connected goals with Power BI. In my earlier session we discussed about the creation of manual goals. But what if I want to connect my report with Power BI goals? We will be talking about that thing in detail throughout this session. One more important announcement. If you haven't followed me to my Twitter and Instagram account so far, do follow me. The Instagram and Twitter IDs are available here or maybe in the description box. Also, at the end of the video, we will play one quiz and one lucky winner will get a shout out from my Instagram page as well as certificate of appreciation. So play the quiz and win the prizes. So without further delay, let's get started and talk about connected goals in Power BI. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened one of the scorecard YT analytics that we have created in the second part of this episode. In the second part we created this YT analytics goal with the help of manual goal. Now what if we want to create connected goals into Power BI scorecard. So let's talk about that thing in detail over here in this session. So first of all let me talk about what we wanted to achieve over here. So first of all, let me show you one of the Power BI report which I have created over here. This is my workspace and over here I published one of the report called sales goals. This report is created using Excel online as a data source. Over here you can see that I am showing total sales by products as well as sales by month, day and product. So A, B, C, D those are the product and Total sale is something which I am able to see on the hover of the tooltip. Now I want to set up the goals by sales by product. Meaning I want to create goals current value as well as targeted value with this particular report. So how can I do that? We can achieve that thing using connected goals. Now let's see how to do that. So here I am going to show you step by step procedure for creating connected goals. For that I am going to click on new and first of all I will create one new scorecard. So let's create that. Let me provide my sales card name as sales connected and over here I want to create that into the same workspace and let me just click on create. Now let me just create one new goal to that scorecard. So let's say for an example, I just wanted to add my goal as product B goal, product B sales goal. So I'm just adding this value. I'm assigning that to myself. Now in the current value, I need to connect my report data. So let me just click on connect and over here in the all report section, you will be able to see all your report. So let's search for our report which is sales goal report. So this is the report. So let's click on next and after that it will show you the report preview over here. So let's see this is the report preview and over here I want to set the current value for product B. So let's select product B from here. So when you select that specific product what happened here is it is showing you the data selection. And over here the current value is 794 and all the filters has been applied with that. Now let's click on connect. So what happened here is your current value is set with this particular value. Now you can same way connect the target value as well. But in my case I am not setting the target value by using connected data. I am setting that manually like 950. Right, but if you want to connect to your report data, you are good to go. After that, status is something which is at risk at this moment. Let me just set up the start date and end date. So, I'm just setting up this date, and now let's click on save. So, this is how your connected goal is created. Now, what is the main difference in between 
मैन्यूअल गोल एंड कनेक्टेड गोल सो लेट से फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल एज अ पर्सन वेन यू आर परफॉर्मिंग द चेक इन एंड वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दिस वॉट हैपन हियर इज ओवर हियर यू कैन ओनली सेट द डेट बट यू कैन नॉट सेट द वैल्यू ऑफ करंट द रीजन इज दैट दिस इज ऑटोमेटिकली रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम योर रिपोर्ट डेटा सो वेन एवर योर रिपोर्ट इज रिफ्रेश एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट यू हैव सेट एवरी डे दैट डेटा पॉइंट इज बींग कैप्चर्ड ओवर हियर नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर लेट मी शो यू द बिहाइंड द सीन डेटा सोर्स एंड हाउ दैट रिफ्रेश इज हैपनिंग ऑल्सो अनादर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग लाइक लेट से वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग इन टू रीड मोड एंड दिस इज द कनेक्टेड गोल कनेक्टेड गोल इज ऑलवेज कनेक्टेड विथ योर रिपोर्ट सो यू विल बी एबल टू सी दिस रिपोर्ट आईकॉन एंड वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दैट यू विल बी रिडिरेक्टेड टू दैट रिपोर्ट पेज द रिपोर्ट पेज इज लुकिंग लाइक दिस एंड द गोल यू हैव सेट एज अ कनेक्टेड गोल विल बी हाईलाइटेड ओवर हियर इन टू दिस सेक्शन सो दिस इज कूल नाउ वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर एनी टाइप ऑफ पावर बी आई गोल्स हाउ टू कन्फिगर दिस स्टेटस रूल एंड हाउ दिस सेटिंग ऑप्शन इज वर्किंग ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन टू माई अर्लियर एपिसोड सो डू विजिट दैट सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ऑफ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन डिटेल नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द रिफ्रेश पार्ट फॉर द गोल्स सो लेट मी जस्ट गो हियर फॉर वन ऑफ द कनेक्टेड गोल विच आई ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग विच ऑलवेज टेक सम टाइम इन ऑर्डर टू रिफ्रेश एंड शोइंग हियर एज अ प्रोग्रेस सो लेट मी ओपन ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड गोल सो ओवर हियर यू कैन सी वन ऑफ द सेल्स एनालिटिक्स गोल आई क्रिएटेड एंड दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट बी सेल्स नाउ ओवर हियर यू कैन सी दैट लेट मी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड ओवर हियर यू कैन सी दैट डिफरेंट रिफ्रेशिंग डेटा पॉइंट्स सो ओवर हियर यू कैन सी दैट वेन एवर वी गो टू द सेटिंग ऑप्शन वी हैव सेट द ट्रैकिंग साइकल एज डेली फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड इट विल शो द डेली परसेंटेज चेंजेस एज वेल एज दिस इज द कनेक्टेड वैल्यू नाउ इफ वी वॉन्ट टू फोर्स रिफ्रेश वी कैन डू दिस ऑप्शन एंड वी कैन सी द ओवरऑल हिस्ट्री एज वेल एवरी डे इट इज बेसिकली ट्रैकिंग द चेंजेस सो इवन टूडे इट ऑटोमेटिकली ट्रैक द वैल्यू दैट इन डेटा सोर्स आफ्टर रिफ्रेश देर इज नो सच चेंज सो इट इज स्टिल शोइंग द जीरो परसेंट so every day one time it will take one measurement of your goal now let's change our data source value and let's see how that will update so every day simply one data entry will be captured over here so now let's see how that refresh value is happening this refresh is doesn't depended on the data set refresh now let me change the data source value so first of all what i'm doing here is i'm opening the excel spreadsheet that is connected with this report development and over here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add couple of values over here so i'm just copying and pasting the same stuff and let me just change here the value as like this and let me just add the date and same way let me copy and paste let me save this thing and close this excel spreadsheet let me just go to the power bi report and at this moment for b we have 794 value now this should be updated right so for that what i am going to do is i am going to perform refresh for my data set so let me just refresh my data set and for that my data set is yt analytics let me click on refresh now and check the reflection and over here after refreshing the data you can see that we are able to see the product b as 850 now this should be reflected to our goals as well so over here what happen here is our tracking cycle is daily so daily it will track that value now i just wanted to use force refresh over here so let me just click on force refresh and let's see what will happen so over here you can see that my new value 850 is updated earlier it was 0 
every day one entry will be captured over here now let's say how that progress will look like into the detail section so in the detail section as well the progress is looking like this and capture will be appearing like this let me just refresh this thing and let's see how that will look like so i'm just going here and you can see the overall progress is something which is looking like this and this value is also updated meaning the connected goal values are always be updated according to your report value it is independent from the data refresh that is happening on the report no matter when your data refresh is happened daily it will track one data point over here with respect to your goals and that setting is available here so i think i am pretty good for connected goals hope you are also good with this thing now let me talk about some interesting things about connected goals at this moment you can apply your connected goals at visual level legend level data point level and axis value level also this can be applicable on categorical data as well as time series data like this also we need to consider a couple of limitations over here the first thing is that in a 100% of stack bar or column chart power bi will put in major value rather than the percentage value second thing is in multi row card if there are multiple values power bi will always pull the first major in the card in gages and kpi tile power bi will pull in the value but not the target or min max value of the gauge also if you are using the table and you have more than one column of measure then power bi selects only first measure in the row so these are the few consideration that you need to keep in your mind while you are selecting something with the connected goals now it's time to play a quiz this quiz question is very easy and you need to answer the question in the comment section only so the question is if i use current value as a connected goal value then i can change that during the check in means let me simplify that question you know during the connected goals when we click on check in option basically you are able to see that whatever the value that is being set that is something which is coming from the data set side so can i change that value manually that is something which is the question it is true false means i can change that value false i cannot change that value it is directly refreshed from your data set that is the question and that is the hint also i provided here so just answer the question in the comment section and one lucky winner will get a shout out on my instagram page along with certificate of appreciation with this i have completed the third episode of this series and now in the next episode i am going to talk about goal level security so stay tuned to my next session if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for training and consultancy this is the website and you can follow me on all my social media handles using this links you can follow me to my twitter instagram and podcast platform over here also i recommend everyone to subscribe my another channel called digital dhruvin this is the channel where i am uploading short content and hindi content on power platform so subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well with this this is dhruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye